Congratulations on the win. We're trying to put into words what just happened on the ice over 60 minutes. How do you do it? Yeah, I think it's been our mantra all year. I mean, uh, we got 20-something comeback win the, wins this year. And, uh, you know, we've been saying, you know, no quit New York. We've been saying that all year. But, uh, you know, you got to show it, too. So uh, just a great effort by everyone. And obviously nice to get the win. Foxy, what was the mentality in the room going into this game? Any specifics you talked about just to turn things around in this building? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we're we're good here when we've been putting the puck to the net. Uh, you know, we've kind of let them ride the, the momentum swings that they've got, and I think we did a good job of, uh, you know, eliminating those. They're going to score. The place is going to get loud, but uh, not letting it get out of hand, and I think we did a good job of that. Uh, but, yeah, I think we just wanted to come in, you know, bring a good effort. You never know if... You know, you're going to get the bounces or not and, and come out with the win. But, you know, our season was on the line. We just wanted to give it everything. And, uh, you know, it was good to get the win. Adam, first period, obviously, it wasn't a good one. But you get into the second period and you get on the power play. Did you feel that that was what really calmed everybody down? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, our power plays tried to, you know, score timely goals all year. Uh, you know, obviously, we got a lot of threats there. And, uh, you know, we could really rip the puck. So getting it early. Uh, you know, quick into that power play was huge for us and uh, obviously gave us a bit of momentum. There hasn't been a whole lot of carryover from game to game, Adam, but when you anticipate what game seven is going to be like at Madison Square Garden, just those words and just what you've experienced as a child watching that kind of thing, what do you expect Sunday to be like? Yeah, I know it'll be loud. Uh, you know, we talked when we went down 3-1 that, uh, you know, we just got to win one game at home and then take it from there and uh, you know, the guys who have played in Game 7s have, uh, you know, told us that it'll be, you know, one of the most fun games we'll play in. So I think we're all super excited, obviously, having the crowd behind us there. That place will, you know, be, be loud as I've probably ever heard it. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to it. Good feeling. Um, and, uh, again, we show no quit. And, and um, that's what I love about this, uh, this team. After the first goal, did it just kind of feel like a monkey off your back a little bit? Yeah, obviously it's nice to see the puck go in, but uh, um, yeah, it's uh, it was nice. To score as quickly as you did on that power play after Rodriguez takes that retaliatory penalty, um, how it's obviously big you get a goal, but I mean to do as quick as you did, do you think it made a difference that you guys just you know bang bang right in the net? Yeah, I think it was nice to see it go in. Um, I think we've been doing a lot of good things on the power play. Um, you, you, you want to at least generate momentum um, if the puck's not going in, but at the same time, you want to see the puck go in. Um, you know, doing a lot of good things and not getting results is, you know, it, it's uh, it's one thing, but yeah, you know, you want to see the puck go in. So it was, it was good that we were able to to cash in on that play there. How, how would you guys describe the mood of the team? Both these last two games, you go down, you don't have great first periods, but like, what is the, what about this team makes you guys able to stay the course and, and come back in the next period? Good, good coaches, good young guys, good vets, good room. Um, I mean, we've we've been able to, you know, come together as a team through hard times over the course of the over the year. Of course, the, the last couple of years, I think it's been a long time coming for us. So, um, you know, regardless of the situation, um, I'm proud of, proud of the way this team competes. Um, whether we're down, whether we're up. Trying to get to our game, trying to play the same way. I think you're the only guy on the team that was there for the last game seven at Madison Square Garden. Can you kind of describe how special that is and how it's going to be? And is there anything you need to tell your teammates about what that's going to be like? I just need to settle down and get to our game. Mom, I think we've been doing a better job of that over the last few games, and that's why we've had results. Uh, you know, there's not a, a playoff way to play, regular season way to play. There's a, there's there's Rangers hockey, and that's that's all there is. So we we got to continue to work smart, work for each other, play as a team. Um, we've been treating every game since we've been down as like it's a game seven. It's been do or die for us. So nothing changes. What do you think of the way? Uh, what do you think of the way Igor handled that that situation with the fans and everything, falling behind and settling down? That's Igor. Um, He's a competitor. Done it all year for us. Done it every, every level he's played at. So um, he's uh, he battles. That's what he does. Um, you know, I think he's uh, I mean, he's been our best player all year. Continues to be our best player. Chris, 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, I, I don't think it's easy because then it would have been, um, I would have been, you know, be able to stay positive through all of this. But I think it just, um, a lot of credit to the, the, the teammates around, um, people around, and, and just, you know, at the end of the day, if the hard work is there, it's going to turn around eventually. And, um, you know, playing with the players I play with, and it's um, just try to do the right thing um, day in and day out, and, and then just trying to work hard. And, um, again, a lot of credit to uh, this guy right here, too. Um, been playing with him for you know, six years and um, been kind of helping each other out through, through all types of times. And, and um, you know, it's just um, trust yourself, work hard, and, and uh, go from there. Even when the puck's not going in for him, he still does so many things that are underappreciated. It's it's insane. I think the only people who can really see it are the ones who are who may be in our room who are under or understand the game. And he's been getting his chances. You knew he was going to break through. And you know, I think the playoffs sometimes can reveal you know who you are and the kind of character you have. And you know, for him to to, to stay with his game and to continue to work, and continue to work. Um, I mean, he's he's been a huge huge leader for us all year. Um, he's been an absolute horse. He's been our engine, and you, you knew it was going to turn for him, and he knew he was going to have his moment, and he's certainly not done.